Dear believers of God, today I stand before you to share 12 signs that may indicate that God is testing you for blessings. Number one, delayed answers to prayers. Delayed responses to prayer requests are one of the common signals that God is testing you. One of the reasons God delays responding to our prayer requests is to put our faith and patience to the test. As a result, he delays answering our prayers to teach us patience and deepen our Christian faith so that the speed with which our prayers are answered does not become the focus of our faith. Unfortunately, most individuals give up on God when their prayers take too long to be answered, indicating that they lack genuine faith. Number two, trials of faith. Another indicator that God is testing you is the variety of faith. Difficulties that will occur in your Christian life if you are a sincere believer. As a believer, you must accept that your faith will be tried to determine its authenticity. When you are tempted to give up your religion because circumstances are difficult, this is an example of your faith being tried, and it is in these situations that you must remain true to your faith. Only then will the reward come. As James 1 verse 12 tells us, where you will finally get a crown of life. If you do not leave your faith, even when circumstances in your Christian life are difficult, so just hang in there and you'll be okay. Number three, life challenges. Life's trials such as things not going your way or a run of poor luck or misfortunes are another sign that God is putting your faith and love for him to the test. When your faith is challenged, you'll begin to experience tougher life obstacles that you do not generally face when your faith is tested. If your faith is weak, in such circumstances it is easy to give up on God. However, don't let life obstacles cause you to abandon your faith because those challenges are just meant to strengthen you. Number four, illnesses. Sicknesses can sometimes be used by God to test your faith and love for him, to see if you will still be faithful to him even during illnesses, as we see in Job 2 verses seven to 10. As we can see from those lines, Job never lost faith or abandoned God, even while Satan plagued him with ailments like excruciating boils. If you are sick, I encourage you to learn from Job's so that you do not abandon your faith because of your affliction. If you only believe in God when you are in excellent health, your religion is superficial and not true. You must remember that genuine faith exists in all situations, whether you have a disease or not, and that God can heal all sicknesses if you have faith in him. Number five, financial challenges. Another indicator that God is putting your faith to the test is financial difficulties in your life or family, which may be a source of dispute for many Christians. You may face financial difficulties and anguish at times, leading you to wonder if God can provide for you. According to his riches in Christ Jesus, as promised in Philippians 4 verse 19, However, you must remember that God will never fail to provide for your daily financial needs. And any financial difficulties you are currently experiencing will soon be a thing of the past. That is, if you don't give up on him during your financial hardship. When most people give up and resort to questionable means to meet their requirements, 
If you do not give up, you will receive many financial benefits that you did not expect. Number six, closed doors. Having closed doors in your life, no matter what you do, is another sign that God is testing you to see if you are still faithful to him and trust him. To open new doors for you, even though the others are closed, Closed doors can materialize in a variety of ways, including job rejection, not marrying the person you believed was the one, a lack of financial success, and so on. When faced with such conditions, most Christians quit and forget that God has something better in store for them. Don't let closed doors in your life make you give up on God as he has better things in store for you. And when they come, you will be glad that God closed those doors you were whining about earlier. Number seven, test of patience. God will put your faith in him to the test in a variety of ways. God tests your patience by delaying important events in your life, such as a marriage, a career breakthrough, receiving a job, and so on. Unfortunately, under such times, most believers lose patience and stop believing in God for what they have prayed for, which is why they do not receive the best from the Lord. But keep in mind that Isaiah 40 verse 31 says that only those who wait on the Lord will be renewed in vigor and get the best that the Lord has to offer. If you lack patience, you will never get the greatest that God has to offer. Number eight, offenses. God will use many offenses in your life to test you at times. God wants to see if you have love, tolerance, forgiveness, and long-suffering towards individuals who insult you in such situations. Because we live in a fallen world and deal with broken people who can do awful things to you. At times, you'll encounter offenses in this world from individuals you least anticipate to be. Your greatest friend, family member, spouse, and so on. So, God allows offenses to test your ability to forgive while still loving those who have offended you. According to Ephesians 4 verse 32, we must forgive all those who insult us just as God has forgiven us through Christ's sacrifice. One litmus test for whether God's love reigns supreme in your life is how easily you forgive those who annoy you. If you fail to forgive those who have injured you by carrying grudges against them as most people do, it demonstrates that God's love is lacking in your life. Number nine, God tells you to sacrifice something. God will often ask you to sacrifice what you love the most as a test to discover if you love him more than everything else. This can be seen in the story of Abraham in Genesis 22 verses 1 to 19, where God ordered him to offer his son Isaac as a burnt offering. Fortunately, Abraham entrusted that God would provide. He passed the test with flying colors by obeying God since his son Isaac was not slaughtered and instead a ram was offered as a sacrifice. Similarly, God may ask you to give up something you value to determine whether you truly love him as Abraham demonstrated by loving God more than his son. Number 10, family issues. God may use tough family members to test and polish your character, teaching you how to be patient and long-suffering towards others. In a family setting, certain family members such as in-laws, relatives, an unsaved spouse, and so on, 
may try to make your life difficult for no reason. It's easy to mistrust God and believe he isn't with you under such circumstances. Especially if your family is persecuting you for your Christian religion. However, you must remember that God is always with you. Even if your family decides to desert you or tries to make life difficult for you. Especially if you are the only one who has been rescued. Number 11. Broken Dreams Another clue that God is testing you is broken hopes and unachieved ambitions in your life. Regardless of how hard you try or do everything correctly and by the book, yes, God may not always allow you to attain your goals or fulfill your aspirations because he knows better. It's also possible that the ambitions and dreams you want to pursue are not in line with his plan, which is why they've fallen through. Most people lose up in these situations since God did not fulfill their dreams. You must understand that failure to achieve your goals does not imply that God has abandoned you. Number 12. Losing everything. God may allow you to lose everything in your life to test your loyalty and faithfulness to him as Job did or to see if you will abandon him entirely. God may enable you to lose everything you own, like he did to Job, to remind you that only he can meet your needs and assist you in not making what you have the reason you trust God. Never abandoned God simply because he had lost everything. As a result, God restored Job twice as he had previously when he passed his test, as recorded in Job 42 verses 10 to 17. God will also restore you twice as much as you had before, if you do not abandon him as Job did. These tests may vary from person to person, but my dear brothers and sisters, always keep believing in God as he is our saviour and will do anything for us if we trust him. If you find this video to be of value, please like it and consider subscribing to demonstrate your support for the channel.